to wear the hat? Should I wear the hat? Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I rock the hat? Shout out to Alix for making a dope hat. But, uh, I don't know. Yo, what is good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yerves. Thank you again for joining me. Today, we are doing a unboxing, well, kind of unbagging slash review on the Bottega Veneta padded tech cassette side bag, crossbody, whatever you want to call it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We do a lot of men's fashion content and let's get right into it. And so recently I was in Australia. I was shopping, checking out all the stores. Shout out to the exchange rate because everything is cheaper there when you go. Well, right now anyway. And I've recently been needing like a nice little crossbody bag to hold like my phone, keys, extra money, my camera, extra rolls of film. Just kind of like miscellaneous things, especially like passport, like when you're traveling. So I've been shopping, kind of keeping an eye out. And recently I've seen this Bottega bag and I was like, man, that's kind of cool. Like it's kind of expensive for what it is. It's made out of nylon. It's not even leather, but it's kind of got a vibe to it. It's kind of got this like modern classic, I don't know, like timeless type design because it's not super flashy. It's minimal, but it's like, if you know, you know, like, you know, classic Bottega design with the quilts. And I was like, let me go check it out. Went into the store, amazing service from Bottega. And I put it on and it felt just right. I was a little worried because I've been watching some reviews and other videos on it on YouTube about this bag. And people are like, oh, things could slip through the little quilts on the side. So I was a little weary. I think recently they updated the bag and they added some more stitching reinforcement, especially like on the bottom area. I haven't had any trouble with it, with my phone, with whatever. So it's been really good. Everything's super secure. It's got this really cool like magnetic latching system. So there's no zipper, which is a pro and a con. I think the magnets make it like really classy because there's no extra like hardware all over it. Um, but they're not super secure. Obviously they're magnets, they could flip open. But what's cool is on the inside of the bag, there's another little pouch and that has a zipper on it. So anything that's really small or delicate or can be lost through the like sides really easily, you could put it in the zipper pouch and there's no holes in it. Zips close, super secure. And that goes in the bag and it's strapped with like a leather leather strap. The bag comes in a few different sizes. So it comes in the classic, which is the size that I'll be showing you guys here. It comes in the maxi, which is bigger. Instead of like the two rows of quilts, it's got three rows. You could fit like probably like a small laptop in that one. And then they also have a mini version, which is obviously mini. And then one that's called candy, which is like super tiny, like pack of gum type vibes, you know? So uh, yeah, I need something a little bit more substantial than that, bigger, because I'm trying to carry on some stuff. Went with the classic, tried it on, comes with a multitude of colors. It's got black, fondant, which is like a brown, avocado, parakeet, which is that crazy like Bottega green color. And that thunder, which is like a gray frost pool, which is like a neon blue. Anyway, tons of colors. You guys could really like fit it into like any type of vibes you are. I went with the black just because it's classic. You guys already know I wear a lot of black. It goes with everything. And if I'm going to spend like two grand on a bag, I want it to go with everything. You know, like I'm not going to wear no neon green. You know, how often are you going to wear neon green with a fit? I don't know. Not me. That's not my vibe. So I went with the black. Uh, fits nice. Good adjustment on the straps. It has these nice like metal rivets. Well, they're more like studs where you could help adjust the straps. So you can make it longer or shorter. You could wear it crossbody style, tote style, throw it around on the back, all kinds of ways. So um, it's hard to do an unboxing because it doesn't come in a box. So it actually came in a bag and I'll show you guys the bag. And it's this uh, just standard Bottega bag. It has the Bottega Veneta print on it just like a nice fabric bag you could store it in here so it doesn't get all dusty there's that and then the bag itself that's pretty much it there isn't a whole lot of unboxing to do shout out to the padded tech cassette anyways um yeah these are the little magnetic straps so you guys not straps little magnetic i guess closing system which is really cool this is about the size head for scale and <laughs> This is the strap, nice and wide, so it's like a little bit more masculine. It's not thin and delicate. Put in some B-roll so you guys can see it with a couple different fits. And uh, yeah, it's it's a nice bag, you guys. So 
Is it worth it? Two grand? That's so hard pill to swallow. I don't know. It really depends on you, your budget, and you know what you really value in terms of accessories for the fits. But I ended up spending around 1500 on it due to the exchange rate, the dollar strength, and all this other stuff. And also, you don't pay taxes when you buy stuff out of the country. So, I mean, for $1,500, i would say it's worth it. It's still a lot of money. But if you can get it outside of the country or wherever country you're from for a discount, depending on the exchange rate, I would do it. Two grand is a lot. $1,500, a little bit more palatable. Still a lot of money. But Bottega's good quality. It should last a long time. It's made out of this really nice nylon fabric. And... Yeah, I mean, if you want something nice, classy, something you could dress up, something you could dress down, more casual, it's a great bag. It goes with all those vibes. I mean, I'm just wearing it with a regular vintage t-shirt and it kind of kind of fits the vibe. I'm into it. So yeah, if you could spend a little bit of money, I would do it if you can, um, unless you've got it like that. I don't. I work for a living. I spend all my money on all this stuff. So I feel it, you know, we're responsible adults here on this channel and we got to be careful. So yeah, I would say it's worth it. It's a beautiful bag. It's really well made. Um, you could take it with you on your travels, wherever, daily use, it's going to hold up. And I say go for it. So shout out to Bottega for making a really nice bag. I love it. I'm getting tons of use out of it. And yeah, there you go. Just a little quick little review slash unboxing, maybe unbagging for you guys. If you wanted a closer look at the Bottega Veneta padded tech cassette. We have made it to the end of the video, you guys. Just a little quick one for you guys today. Just wanted to show you guys the Bottega bag. See what you think of it. If you're going to cop it, drop it. Let me know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Really helps us out. And subscribe to the channel. We have more dope videos coming soon. Some vlogs coming soon. All men's fashion related. Some designer, some street. All kinds of stuff mixed in there and my name is yours thanks again for watching you can add me on instagram you can add me on tiktok i'd love to show you guys all the cool stuff that i get and share it with you thank you again for joining me you guys and i'll see you on the next one peace somebody told me they only watch for the winston content and i was like damn but i get it he's a star say hi winston